A celestial object defying the laws of physics as it rushes towards our planet. NASA and European agencies are on high alert. UN's International Asteroid Warning Network is closely watching. Our next report telling you how the 3 i Atlas is not just a comet, it's a cosmic enigma arriving today. It's not behaving like a comet, not even close. 3 i Atlas, the interstellar object hurtling towards our planet, is bending the very rules of physics. Scientists say it's accelerating, but not from solar pressure. Its course is changing, erratically, mysteriously, as if something inside it is controlling the motion. Telescopes across the world are locked on. NASA, the European Space Agency and the UN's International Asteroid Warning Network have moved to constant monitoring. The object's green glow now burns brighter than expected, cutting through telescopic feeds like an emerald wound in the night sky. And then the anomaly, an anti-tail, a jet of dust and gas pointing towards the sun, not away from it. Nothing in known physics explains this, not solar wind, not rotation, not gravitational drag. Harvard astrophysicist Avi Loeb calls it a sign of something engineered not random. The object exhibited non-gravitational acceleration, meaning that it deviated from a path that is sculpted by gravity alone. And uh, the level of deviation is such that uh, I calculated it must have lost a significant fraction of its mass. If it's a natural comet, it should have lost uh, somewhere between 10 and 20 percent of its mass, and there should be a massive cloud of gas around it. NASA said the European Space Agency has intensified observations, pooling data from ground-based telescopes and space assets. The UN's International Asteroid Warning Network is tracking the object as a matter of protocol, not threat. Officials stress there is no danger to Earth. The closest distance remains vast. 3 i Atlas is right now at 269 million kilometers away from us. Some researchers, including prominent voices in the search for extraterrestrial intelligence, argue that objects like 3 i Atlas force science to keep an open mind. Not to leap to conclusions, but not to dismiss questions either. The debate is not about aliens. It is about exploring, about recognizing how little we truly know about what drifts between stars. As 3 i Atlas flashes past Earth, it will not slow down. It will not return. Whatever secrets it carries will leave with it, unless we learn to read them fast enough. For a brief moment, the universe has knocked on our door, and science is listening. We will report me on World is One. Switching gears now, Moscow has sent out a loud and clear message to Kiev, Europe and Washington. Russia is preparing for a long war if Ukraine and its backers abandon dialogue. And it is doing so by expanding the ground operations across the battlefield, deploying new missiles and air defense systems, all under a nuclear shadow. The Russian president, in fact, told an expanded meeting of Russia's defense ministry that Russian forces are maintaining what he called the strategic initiative across the entire front line. The Russian leader saying Russian troops have captured more than 300 settlements this year, more than 300, including parts that he said Ukraine had turned into fortified strongholds. That's what he says. Now, while the commander in chief of the armed forces of Ukraine is saying that Russia has deployed around 710,000 troops, for a large-scale strategic offensive against Kiev, that's not even all. Putin, on the other hand, warning that Moscow can either uh, can further Moscow can further accelerate its offensive and expand a security buffer zone, insisting that the objectives of Russia's special military operation will be achieved. He cautioned that Russia would seize more territory if Kiev and European leaders continue to reject 
the U.S.-backed peace proposals. Putin also stressing on the role of Russia's strategic nuclear forces, saying that they remain central to deterrence and what he described as the global balance of power. On the battlefield and beyond, the war continues unabated. According to Russia, at least three people were killed, several others were injured in an overnight Ukrainian drone attack in the Rostov region. The strike sparked a fire in a residential building in Batesk city. Putin also announced that the Orishnik missile system will be placed on combat duty by the end of 2025. The system, remember, was used for the first time in Ukraine in November 2024. He also confirmed successful tests of the Buravestnik strategic cruise missile and the Poseidon unmanned underwater vehicle. Underscoring Russia's continued focus on advanced strategic weapons. Now, according to Russian media, the defense minister announced that the first regiment equipped with the S-500 Prometheus system has officially entered combat duty. The S-500, remember, is a next-generation air and missile defense system designed to counter threats from aircraft to advanced ballistic missiles. And reports say the S-500 is expected to remain operational for at least 25 years and can intercept missiles with ranges up to 3,500 kilometers, including intercontinental ballistic missiles, in their terminal and mid-course phases. The military upgradation is not just limited to Moscow, of course. In neighboring Poland, Warsaw announced that U.S. Patriot air and missile defense systems have achieved full combat readiness to help counter missiles, aircraft, drones, marking a major development in both the country's defense modernization efforts as well as NATO's Eastern Front. And speaking of what's happening on the diplomatic front, the Kremlin has said that Russia is preparing to contact the United States for procuring details about the U.S. talks with the European powers and Ukraine on a possible peace settlement to end the war. And all of this happening amid reports that US and Russian officials will be meeting in Miami this weekend itself. The holy grail of clean energy is no longer a distant dream. It is now closer to reality. Something thought to be science fiction till a few decades ago is actually turning out to be reality. A British breakthrough has just cracked the code on the process that powers the sun itself. Take a look. Absolutely clean energy is no longer a distant dream. The global race for infinite energy has just shifted into high gear. British scientists have achieved a milestone in nuclear fusion. That brings the world to the precipice of a post-carbon era. Nuclear fusion isn't just another power source. It is the physical union of atomic nuclei. By fusing hydrogen isotopes under extreme pressure and heat reaching millions of degrees, we release vast amounts of energy with zero carbon emissions and no long-lived radioactive waste. An artificial intelligence model called Gyroswin developed by the UK Atomic Energy Authority, can now predict how ultra-hot fusion plasma will twist, churn and misbehave inside a reactor in seconds, not days. This British success builds on a foundation of international rivalry and cooperation. The United States recently shocked the world at the National Ignition Facility, achieving ignition where more energy was produced than consumed. China's artificial sun has set records for plasma duration, holding stable reactions for several minutes. India, a key player in the multi-billion dollar ITER project, has successfully delivered massive cryostats and cooling systems, proving its prowess in high-end fusion engineering. Fusion, like the fission process, does not emit harmful substances like carbon dioxide or other greenhouse gases, but 
It also has additional critical advantages. It poses no risk of nuclear disaster and produces much less radioactive waste. The UK breakthrough specifically tackles the exhaust problem, managing the intense heat that typically melts reactor walls. This brings commercial viability within reach. Imagine a world where a single bucket of seawater can power a city for a year. The implications are staggering. We are talking about the end of energy poverty and the total decarbonization of the planet. For the first time, the age of star power feels within human reach. Bureau Report, We Are, World is One. To stay up to speed with the latest news, download the Weon app and subscribe to our YouTube channel.